Hey you right guys, Trey from Winters Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 6 of Glee season 2. Last episode we had the, kind of the Rocky horror show which I, I, it, was, it was okay, it was fine, nothing really too interesting there. Um, but as I got told in the Discord and the Patreon as well, it's kind of considered one of those iconic Glee episodes. Obviously I'm not going to pick up on if episodes of Glee are iconic or not, <laughs> I'm not going to know that. Uh, to me it just felt like it, it was a fine episode and Will was just being creepy as always. So. Emma was boss, so Emma was boss. I'll give I'll give the episode that one. Uh, but yeah, episode six, guys. We'll see what happens with, uh, with this one. So if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like. If you're new, remember to subscribe. And if, if, Jesus, what a mess. If of course you do want uncut and early reactions to Glee, then a link to the Patreon page will be down below as well as Twitter, Instagram, Discord, and all that good stuff. But for now, my friends, let's go. Cool. He's called Charles dating Quinn. Wait, dating Quinn. What, when were they dating? I've been there, remember? Since when were they when dating? What the fuck? What do you do though? Since when were Sam and Quinn dating? What the fuck? I mean, I guess. Oh god. <laughs> Are you okay? Fine. Can we do something about these bullets? <laughs> Let's just murder them all, fuck. I ruled that place. All I did was crack skulls and lift weights all day. Yeah, all right, doubt. Give one of those old ladies a good luck pat on the rear, it'll shatter her pelvis. <laughs> so we're gonna murder all people, okay. You guys about sex I got out of juvie early because I agreed to do community service. <laughs> so Puck's gonna look after Rye. So I told you, yeah. This chair's a great place for hiding stuff. What is your problem? Go on, Kurt. You want a piece of the Fury? The Fury? That's what I named my fist. Well, with that level of creativity, you could easily become assistant manager of a ring. Oh! What that is? Well, this guy needs to die. Is there anything that I could do? Yeah, beat the shit out of him, please. Redeem yourself, Will. No. This is my hill to climb alone. Oh, we got Quinn and Sam again. GG's, I guess. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I said, say my name. Beast. No, Sam, are you okay? Why are they okay. being turned on? What's the point in this? this for hours. What's the point in this? What is going on? I know what I heard. A way to get Beast out of this school? And your Macaulay Culkin stunt double back in your arms. Macaulay Culkin stunt double. Get people. Watch and learn, young Jedi in a wheelchair. Our first song. Yeah, at least you can make a good little duo. It's another guy with a guitar. No, don't invite this creep up at this guy. Yo, they're loaded! GG's! Yo, the big bank! You want her? Yo. You don't need any cash for that. She's free. She was my first. Oh, we're at, this is actually going to be a storyline still. Brittany being a knob. It's that simple. I was kind of mean to her when I blew her off. You weren't mean to her. She used you for set. Oh, whatever. You are mean to them to get them to like you again. Glee club here is kind of cool. The warblers are like rock stars. Come on, I know a shortcut. Oh, Blaine and Kurt. Maybe. Oh, ready for the punk song? I'll go a uh, seven out of ten. No, I guess 7.5 is kind of cool. Oh, you should be just boosting it. Come on, Acapella, this is sick. Mad. Is this gonna be a character though? No regrets till we die. We'll be young forever. 
<laughs> this guy. This guy. Look how many people they've got here as well. Yo, I can tell madness in this. <laughs> this is GG's. This is GG's. You can't even consider the world. What should be one of those like one episode characters or something? Nice. It's got to be a nine out of ten. That was uh, that was a boss. That was an introduction. Because <laughs> like buzzed. Let's get a room. Why do you want to be called off? I don't get it. I don't get this story. But I'm so turned on right now. Oh, what is what is going on? What is going on? Exciting, and you clearly like women who give you a hard time. I'm not cheating on you with my football coach. When were these two together? Did I miss that bit? You? It's not what you Watch your tone with me, Missy. You crap on my leg, I'll cut it off. <laughs> I'll leave you. Stay away from my woman. What the f All right, Harry, Harry. What the hell's going on? It's very civilized for you to invite me for coffee before you beat me up for spying. We are not going to beat you up. You were such a terrible spy, we thought it was sort of endearing. Which made the worst spy of all time. This wasn't really the reason you came, girlfriends. This is not a gay school. We just have a zero tolerance harassment policy. Everybody gets treated the same. No matter what they are, it's pretty well, simple. Well, Kurt's gonna want to come here then, isn't he? Because the whole bullying thing kind of—he's gonna change to come here. So I left. I came here. Simple as that. Oh, dude, I'm worried. So you have two options for everybody, or you can refuse to be the victim. Be the bully. Let's go. Chop his head off. Just ignorance. I ran. I like this character. Was Blaine? Blaine. Stick to the lesson plan. Just proving nearly impossible since you're gluing those secrets on backwards. Spies. Lighten up. Spies. <laughs> Do you guys want to go out to dinner tonight? <sighs> Not really. That's pretty much why they've come here to beg for it. So. Tell you what, you two show up. Be straight with me. You're the only person at this school I trust. Ooh. After all he did. Please. Cool off a little. They think of you. In compromise. Uh, I don't matter Will for saying it, because, you know, what? he's just telling the truth, I guess, but. Like, I take it very, very personally. Oh! I feel sorry for the coach. No, Sh Shannon. Sh wait, I. Lego my echo. And you know what he does? He lets go of my egg. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Last hour and a half. I'm not attracted to Brittany, he oh my god. Yeah, I was really distracted. Alright guys, let's move. This meal has been comped. What? Dude, I don't pay for food. <laughs> so we're going to in. Punks make me piss this episode, it's annoying. Scott's Gordon. These lovely ladies back to Shea Puckerman for a little sooky sooky. Wait, seriously? Punk! Oh my god. I'm giving you all my trade secrets here. Unreal. Yo, yeah, what the fuck? Oh, it's the boys beat girls moment. Go in, Rachel. Come on. I'm missing this episode. Not a lot. Santana looks kind of iconic. Just throwing it out there. This is uh, pretty sick. They got Blaine's number. <laughs> Who are you praying to, Artie? GG's. GG's. It's gonna be a 9 out of 10. Two nines in one episode. No, Sue. We got Beast fired. What? And my full budget is restored. Bullshit. <laughs> no, Sue, this ain't... Um, the, no. Wait, what? Well, actually, she quit, but I'll take the W. The whole convey Your thing was kind of cool. Though. Win, <laughs> Coach Beast quit? I believe I just said that, Annie Sullivan. You want me to sign it into your palm? Nope. Excuse me. 
And if you wouldn't mind just cleaning all this up, <coughs> that'd be great. That's the biggest bullshit I've seen in my life. We need the coach back. Best character, best new character. I'd actually say so, yeah. Kurt, go in! Punch him. Come on. I am talking to you! Do it! Rules locker room's next door. I'm Hawk. You're not my type. That right? Yeah. I don't dig on chubby boys who sweat too much. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Do not push me, Hummel. Me. You gonna hit me? Nothing but a scared little boy who can't handle how extraordinary and <laughs> ordinary you are. Wait, what the fuck? What just happened? It's all clear now. I feel like I've just opened my third eye. Oh. You really hurt someone who was a great addition to this school. Finally, Will. The first episode of season two where you're actually speaking sense. If everyone just put out, we would have a winning football team. <laughs> okay, it's not done. Calm down. You calm down. All of you calm down. <laughs> Poor you, I'm not going back there. What are you writing? Give me that. <laughs> Jesus. They're actually building on Pug's character a little bit in a way. Excuse me. Hey, lady boys. Is your boyfriend, Kurt? From downstairs. To talk to you about Do not mess with him. Jeez, this guy. Stop this! Still a twat. I get. Oh, I don't know. Fuck. Well, he's not coming in anytime soon. Hey, you think, Blaine? Because until yesterday, I had never been kissed. Or at least that was his first case. Mud. You have no idea what it's like. For what it's worth, my kids feel awful. For what it's worth, I did quit five times. And maybe I'll get a job as a cooler. I don't want her to leave. She's the best new character this season. Easy. Maybe. Right? <laughs> oh, could they be a new friendship? Put yourself out there. Try online dating. I've never been kissed, Will. They are not gonna kiss. I'm 40, and I haven't even taken those baby steps yet. Oh, I love it. <laughs> what that says to me, whose heart is just too big for most men to stand. Go in, Will. You know I'll vibe with you this episode. GG. He's a boss. I knew it. I knew it. I feel like he's doing that forever, in a way. You tweaking me into a make-out session, Schuster? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. I, li I like that. I like that. It's freaking terrifying, dude. On the dude. first day, three gangbangers jumped me, and before the security guards could pull them off, they'd already tore out my nipple ring. Oh, God. I was a badass. They kept taking my waffles. <laughs> the true travesty. So, I was kind of a jerk to you at breadsticks. Yeah, a little bit. It's all a bit, but... Hopefully they can actually build on this a little bit through the episodes. If I got caught, I'd be That's dope, dude. You got a deal. I like that. I reckon the guy will walk past him now and not push him. Oh, that's the thing. Oh, okay. I'm wrong. Completely wrong. Well, everyone just walks past. That's some bullshit. Coach Beast, we think you're awesome. And even though you're all hard and tough yeah. on the outside, it's... You're like a mashup. Why don't you guys just get to the song? <laughs> yeah. Before you break my heart, think it over. I went tight clothing. My job. High heel shoes. It doesn't mean that I'm a man. Oh, that's that Santana gift. No, I like think it over. Will's loving it. I've even seen her. Hey. Go on, Harry, do that. Coat flip. <laughs> Curse me. <laughs> Rachel defended it. That was sick. That was sick. Gotta be an 8 out of 10. It's been a good episode for songs. Thank you. So I mean coach is back. Right guys, I can't be too long with this review because I do have to go in literally five minutes. But this was a very good episode. I really, really enjoyed it. Just to summarise very quickly, I felt like all the songs were really well done. Uh, the only storyline I didn't care too much with. I liked the coach part of the storyline, but I didn't like that they were kissing uh, they were kissing and had to think about the coach. 
to cool down. I thought that was a little bit dumb <laughs> for Sam. And I felt like they have really rushed Sam and Quinn. They've rushed them too, unfortunately. Because uh, they're very adorable for the last two episodes. And now they're just kind of together and hooking up, which I felt was very rushed. They could have built on their relationship a bit more um, before they kind of got together, at least I felt. Um, but yeah, the coach stuff was really good, minus that one bit. And the Quinn and Sam stuff, but the songs were great. I, re I actually really liked Puck's story this episode. But, you know, putting the actor to one side, Puck as a character... I thought was really well done this episode and I kind of like like him a little bit. The, the character, not the actor. We'll never like the actor, obviously. But the character was pretty decent this episode with Artie. I, I quite like their little friendship. I hope they build on that a bit more. And then obviously the big part of this episode was... Another big part of this episode, should I say, was Kurt and Blaine, I think. I think it's Blaine. I like Blaine as a character. I thought they did a good introduction with him. And I can't wait to see if uh, they build more on... Oh, I'm assuming Blaine's going to be a, a natural character... He had way too much presence in this episode just to kind of be a one-episode character. Uh, so we'll wait and see what happens with Kurt and Blaine. But overall, very strong episode. I'm going to go an 8 out of 10 for this one. Like I said, only things I didn't like was the kissing and thinking of the coach I thought was ridiculous. Uh, and I think they have rushed, unfortunately rushed, with Sam and Quinn. But we'll see. Maybe they'll fix it a little bit. Everything else I thought was very well done. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like and enjoy down for the episode down below in the comments. And if you don't uncut early reactions, then a link to the Patreon page will, of course, be down below. And I'll see you next time for episode 7. Sorry for the rush review, I just really have to go. Uh, so yeah, until then, peace.